And as Israel steps up its offensive in Lebanon, an estimated 100,000 people have reportedly crossed over to Syria. The UNHCR says 60% of these are Syrians and 40% Lebanese nationals. Now, in the last one week, Israeli airstrikes killed over 700 people in Lebanon as it widened its attacks in West Asia. Now, the attacks triggered on a mass displacement of citizens uh, from Lebanon into war-torn Syria over a week ago. And according to the UN Human Rights Commission, 30,000 people crossed into Syria by Friday, with the number now tripling as Israel stepped up its bombing. Meanwhile, 5,000 displaced Lebanese uh, people have found shelter in Damascus uh, in a suburb in the south of the Syrian capital. The families who fled Israeli bombardment at home were given hotel rooms in in Sayyid Zainab, over 40 hotels are housing the refugees now. Now, in Sayyid Zainab, various non governmental organizations are working to provide displaced families with essential supplies, including food, medical care, milk, and medicines. They have underlined that the need for additional support is critical. Lebanon is home to 1.5 million Syrians who fled the civil war in their country. Now, according to the human, uh, UN Human Rights Group, the representatives in Syria, the refugees arriving from Lebanon, are coming to a country that has been suffering from its own crisis and violence for more than 13 years, as well as economic collapse. Lebanese refugees who f are fleeing to Syria uh, have spoken about how their lives were dramatically overturned by the escalating conflict between Lebanon and Israel. We arrived yesterday in difficult circumstances to the Syrian border area, always aware of missiles exploding. While our passports were stamped at the crossing, a missile fell and destroyed many cars, and we lost our papers and identity documents. All of our cars were partly damaged. Our destination was Damascus. When we arrived in Damascus, kind people opened their doors to help us. We feel like we're at home, thanks to our Syrian brothers, who opened their doors to Lebanese refugees. There was an airstrike that hit my home and I lost everything inside. I lost my identification documents and the money, around 5,000 US dollars, and all the other documents of my family were burned to ashes. My family and I survived the airstrike. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.